Hello there. The Great Barrier Reef is dead. Long live the Great Barrier Reef. I'm sure, like me, that you've been reading over the years about the demise of the Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system off the coast of Queensland in Australia, and that it is doomed, or even already dead. And back in May this year, there were yet more reports of doom and gloom about the Great Barrier Reef. But now we hear that a long-term study of the reef through 2021 to May 2022 by the Australian Institute of Marine Science has found that in 2022 the Great Barrier Reef continues to recover, registering the highest levels of coral cover yet recorded in the northern and central regions over the past 36 years of monitoring. And this is despite a mass coral bleaching event caused by above average water temperatures. But instead of welcoming the news, there is now talk by the eco doomsayers that this is caused by the wrong type of fast growing coral, so the Great Barrier Reef remains at risk. But according to the long-term monitoring program, these fast-growing Acropora corals are the dominant group of corals on the Great Barrier Reef. So isn't this to be expected? And for completeness, the southern reef is not recovering because it is being eaten up by nature, a plague of coral-eating starfish. Anyway, all this coral data seems to be based on just 36 years of monitoring, but how much do we really know and understand about the reef from hundreds and even thousands of years ago? You know, true, long-term trends that mean something. Now that this study shows that the Great Barrier Reef is much more resilient than the doom-monger has claimed, isn't it time to celebrate nature's tenacity and rewrite all those earlier reports foretelling the end of living coral? Or are they more likely to fight to try and pressurise the Australian government into towing the global warming line and cancel this report and the author's funding in order to expunge it from the history books? Or at least keep the emphasis on the Great Barrier Reef always being on the very edge of extinction. You know, like the global heatists always end up doing in order to keep the lucrative funding flowing in and the Great Reset political agenda alive. <laughs>